So on a recent video of mine talking about the RTX 3090, I got this just beautifully amazing comment. However, despite the fact that it is pretty dumb, it did got me thinking. Why is there so many mixed feelings about the RTX 3090? It's supposed to be a great card with great features, great speed, great everything at a decent price. So why are so many people upset about it? And why is this kind of, you know, attitude towards it even there? Because that isn't every person. I've seen quite a lot of people already with similar mixed emotions about the RTX 3090. But why? So yes, it is true that cards are getting expensive, but not only are they getting more expensive on both the AMD side and the Nvidia side, there are decent reasons for them to get more expensive. Well, number one, surprise surprise, inflation exists, they're backing way more performance and way more expensive features nowadays, like just look at VRAM and look ha by how much the amount of VRAM stuffed into cards has went up in the recent years. And also, R&D itself is getting more and more expensive every single generation. This. Um, well, the R&D budget is uh, approximately three billion, and this is the first one. So, if anyone would like to buy this, it's three billion dollars. So yes, cards are getting expensive, but like it's just to be expected. There's nothing we really can do about it. It's not really a problem, it's just reality. And I find it weird that people tend to focus this argument on the RTX 3090 because it's looking like a pretty good deal. If you haven't seen my previous video on the RTX 3090, check it out, it's up in the iCards. I go into the details on what the new RTX 3090 is gonna be like. But right now it stands at being around $1400 for 24GB of VRAM and performance somewhere around the territory of the Titan RTX. So already, that just sounds like an absolutely great deal when you consider that the Titan RTX costs around $2400, that's literally $1000 or more. And just think about it compared to 2080 Ti which costs around, well, $200 less, but has way worse performance than the RTX 3090 is supposed to have. And the best part is that Nvidia could pretty much price it at any price point under the RTX Titan, and it would still be a good deal. Another solid rumor going around is that it would instead cost $2,000. That is still $400 less for a 24 gigabyte of VRAM card with similar performance compared to the Titan RTX. To put that into some perspective, imagine that you're building a workstation that requires that kind of performance. That saving of $400 is enough to upgrade a CPU from a Threadripper 3960X to a 3970X. And as we've already seen, that is a huge increase in performance right there between the two CPUs. So the real life impact of such a discount for that kind of performance is pretty huge for the people who need that kind of performance. But also what I kind of find annoying about that comment is that it's being compared to 1080 Ti. Yes, Pascal cards were pretty cheap by comparison and the flagship the 1080 Ti only cost around what, $700? But the truth is that the people who really need better performance didn't go for the 1080 Ti. That was the truth in the Pascal days and it is now in the Turing days and will be in the Ampere days. People who need that kind of top tier performance go for a titan. The 1080i was an enthusiast great gaming card that true could do a lot of other stuff because it has what 11 gigabytes of VRAM and amazing performance. In fact it's the card I run in my PC. But do you want to know how much a Pascal Titan cost? $1200. So around the same price as a 2080ti. But do you know why I think that this sentiment is there? It's because this card isn't called a titan. If it was called a Titan, no one would question it. But because it uses the same, you know, GeForce, RTX, whatever naming scheme, we have this kind of outrage. I promise you that if they called it a Titan RTX 2 Lite or whatever, then it would be a whole other story. But because it's associated more with the, you know, normal gaming and consumer level cards, this whole outrage about them being ridiculously overpriced is there. And hopefully this video made you enlightened to why the RTX 3090 isn't as badly priced as people say. And hey, if you enjoyed the fact that this video made you enlightened so much, then maybe check out my Patreon down in the video description below, because when one dollar member goes a long way in having my channel. Or alternatively, if you're planning on buying something on Amazon, then hey, use our Amazon links down in the video description below. Because if you buy from them, you don't pay anything extra, and we get some of the money, which is always great and helps improve your channel way more. Down there you find a link to my Discord if you want to talk to me or this or this or whatever else really. Talk about how enlightened you are thanks to this video. And I guess it's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I look next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.